In this video, we are going to start a journey on arithmetic progression. And what with this video brings to you are few things. When we talk about an arithmetic progression, there are certain terms which are important. The first one being the first term itself, commonly referred to as A1. Okay, then we have the common difference also referred to as D. Okay, and then you have the last term or the nth term, right? The nth term. So basically in this video, I'm going to explain what each of them means. What is an arithmetic progression? What do you mean by the first term? What is the common difference? What is the nth term? And how do all these three correlate together to form an arithmetic progression, which is what we want to understand here. Now, what I would like to do before uh, starting with it is just to read this particular paragraph. Arithmetic progression is a series of number. You can call it a series or a collection, whichever one suits you, in which each successive term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term, except the first term, because it's somewhere it has to start. Okay. That fixed term is known as the common difference, which can be positive or negative. So what does this mean? This basically means that in an arithmetic progression, there are a large number of numbers. Okay. Whatever the numbers can be counted in a series, it's called a finite arithmetic progression. When the number are not countable, they keep on going on, going on, going on. These are known as infinite arithmetic progression. So the first term, of an arithmetic progression is denoted by a1 okay and then you have various number a2 a3 a4 a5 and so on right now what the definition says is it's a collection of number in which each successive term so if first is the a1 then the second successive term is a2 and A2 is obtained by adding a fixed number. Let's call this fixed number as D. Okay. Also denoted as difference. Right. So when A1 is added with D, what we will get is A2. Right. Or in other words, A2 is equal to A1 plus D. Right. Then what happens is that when you add D to A2, you will get A3, right? But then if I just notice about this A2 plus D, okay, we know A1 is, A2 is equal to what? A2 itself is equal to A1 plus D and A3 is equal to A2 plus D. So can I write A3 as A1 plus 2D, right? This should be correct. Every successive term of the arithmetic progression can be found by adding this common difference, okay, to the preceding term. So A4 can be written as A3 plus D, A5 can be written as A4 plus D, and so on. Now, if you notice one thing over here, when we were talking about the fifth term, we had A4 plus D. When we were talking about the fourth term, we had A3 plus D. So how about the nth term? The nth term or An will be equal to A n minus 1 plus D. Right? Whatever is the number over here, we have n minus 1 here. We had 5 here, 5 minus 1, 4. We had 4 here, 4 minus 1 here. Right? Now this difference can be positive or negative. It need not necessarily be positive at all times. So let's talk about a live example. So let's say if I give you a series of number 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and ask you whether this is an arithmetic progression. How do you do that? If this is an arithmetic progression, then the first term will be equal to A1, right? And the difference between two successive terms should always be equal, 
right? So if I find out that, okay, from 15, I subtract 10, what do I get? I get five. But never stop at one single case. If I have to see the second one from 20, I subtract 15, again five. How about these two? If from 30, I subtract 25, again, I get five. So each of these terms have been actually obtained. If you just notice the D or the difference is five, right? Sometimes you might be given these numbers and you might be asked to extend this arithmetic progression. You can always do that, right? As against this, if I talk about this particular case, is this an arithmetic progression? Now, if you notice, the difference between the first and the second number is 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. But if I look at the fourth and the fifth term, the difference between these two is 20 minus 17 or 3. So the difference between two successive terms is not common. And therefore, this is not an arithmetic progression. In an arithmetic progression, no matter how many numbers are there, the difference between two consecutive terms is always equal, right? And one more thing which I need to tell you is that whenever you are looking at finding out the difference, that has to be obtained by subtracting the preceding term from successive term. You can't subtract 25, you can't do this, this something like this, 25 minus 30. No, this is wrong. You have to do 30 minus 25. Why? Because if you do this, your result would have been minus 5 over here, whereas this is 5. So this is the correct methodology. Now we learn about a lot of things about arithmetic progressions in the subsequent videos.